What's up, baby? What's up, Niza? I know Niza, my wife, too. It's my baby. What's up? Why am I treating you like, because you were smoking in my face the last time you was on the live wave. Like, you be disrespecting and making a joke out of what I'm doing. And it's very serious. It's very serious, like, what I'm doing. Nah, I didn't block it. Nah, I didn't block you. See? Could have been you. Better act, better start acting right in the room, because I block randomly. Yeah, Wave, you were smoking in my face last time in the video. You know we don't do that. You feel me? You was being disrespectful. For, you like It's like you bastardizing polygamy. You feel me? So I'm not really with it. And you, you making it like a mockery of what I'm doing. And there's not any comedy in what I'm doing right now. You feel what I'm saying? Like, and that, and that, ain't, that ain't cool, my nigga. Like, you know what I mean? When you serious about life, hit me up, man. You must have been being disrespectful if I blocked you. Oh, the name of the series is called, um, The Good Place. What? Okay, I don't know that part. Kadiki, why you, why you typing so much and then when I tell you to go live, you want to right now. Just turn the camera off. Nobody want to see your face. I'm about to block you. See why you got blocked. Yo, bring me a um ginger bit. Thankful. You got chocolate in there, right? Yes. Let me get some chocolate. In this. Yo, wait, you be joking about this lifestyle. It's not a joke, man. We we serious in here. This is knowledge itself. Let's have a real nigga moment. Let's have let's talk about the knowledge, wait. I bet you if I if I if I go live with you, you can't tell me nothing about the knowledge that we stand for. Period. You spell the self wrong, you spell it with an S-E-L, you disrespectful, man. Nah, I'm not splitting no screen with you, man. Huh? You talking about like go live with him. I really just want to talk to the woman, like I really, like, you know what I mean? The dudes, if they want to build with me about knowledge, yeah, ginger bit, ginger bit, ginger bit. The one from Jamaica, read one. I'll be drinking these. Jamaica, the read beer. You ever seen these before? I love these joints. Yeah, I love these right here. The red ones, the red tops are my favorite. I'm not giving people the wrong idea about you, baby. You giving the wrong idea about you. American Gods? Yeah, that's on my list to watch. And to make him ginger beer. You can get it at um I get this at Whole Foods. I can have some chocolate. I'm grateful. Let you speak your peace now. You want a joke? I appreciate it, Inspector. I don't know why I thought you was a dude, Inspector. Okay. <laughs> I thought Inspector was a dude. Mm -hmm. Here we go, y'all. Joking, Chief. Why? Why you feel? How you feel? I feel about polygamy, and I'm, I'm, I'm mocking you. I fucks with you, bro. At the end of the day, nobody can't tell me I, I, I don't fucks with you. Like I fucks with you, bro. You feel like I'm making a mockery? Like I feel like you being too serious, bro. You serious? You come on. 
Because being yeah, spiritual, yeah. you can't. You, you got to keep a balance, bro. Can't be too serious, and you can't be too. It got to be a balance. All right, listen. Listen. You you not being serious enough about your life. We at war. How? How? We at war. Why, why you feel like I'm not being serious about my life? We at war. You not. Who's at war? Me and you. Enough. No. I'm not serious enough. Yo, you really taking in them chemtrails? Shit is crazy. You said chemtrails? Mm-hmm. You gotta stop smoking that weed. You way too relaxed in a situation where you're supposed to be getting out of. Yo. Bro, it's... Yo, you realize, life is... Yo, you realize, this... This... This you spiritual... This the death trap? Like, hold on, bro. Hold on. Do you Yo, let me get my charger, Chief. Get your thoughts together. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get my charger. Get your thoughts t- together. Eat your food. It's gonna give me listen, one minute. Cause listen, we gonna we gonna talk. Don't do that. Um, All right. You know, we should start going hard for him. He just sit back and like, no, I'm the runner. That was Wavy's chance. Right. Right there. That was the last time. That was the last time. I gave him a chance. You can't say I didn't give you a chance, bro. That's the last time you're going to be on my platform. But I gave him a chance, you feel me? But you feel what I'm saying? Look, if you don't want to take your life serious, that's on you, my man. Like, you know what I mean? Like, we all in a dangerous predicament being here in the States. Oh, man. I didn't want to go too deep tonight. I wanted to keep it light and talk to the ladies and yeah. see we don't have to go deep. We don't have to go deep. Mm-hmm. A nigga. Ooh, you said that. Boy, you tripping. I just had to block Wavy, yo. He's talking like we on the same level and shit. That's all good. Um, moving forward. I'm eating some chocolate covered almonds. Hmm? Oh, and cashews. Cash. Yeah, I'm gonna take him off the admin on bio too. You tripping? Look, listen. Damn, I did not want to go deep. Y'all gonna make me go deep up in this shit, man. I was trying to keep it light, talk to the ladies, and just eat my pistachios. <laughs> Yeah. All right. All right, let's build. I'm going to go on two levels. Get ready, because we're about to go deep. All right, listen. We are heavenly dependent on the government for everything for our water electricity everything that we have we are solely dependent on the government if the government was to ever shut down we're in a predicament we're in a very dangerous position especially as african-american people which is no time to be partying it really ain't no time. We do that on the, like, you know what I mean? Just to make sure that we don't, you know what I mean? Balance, like, you see me party yesterday. I'll dance, play music, dance a little bit, but y'all way too comfortable in y'all convenience. They give you electricity. They give you water. Your food, you go to the supermarket, 
we are creatures of comfort. We are creatures of convenience. We living up in this convenience like we not in a dangerous situation. What we going to do? You can see this shit about to fall apart and you not prepared for none of it. We need to get our own land with our own resources, growing our own food, doing it ourselves, period. We cannot depend on this government who don't give a fuck about us. <clears throat> Nature's coming. Nature's coming. And that's going to shut down the economy. I'm going to say it again. Nature's coming. The people that supply your water in your crib, you go to work and you pay a water bill. You're paying for convenience. You go to work and you pay an electric bill. You're paying for convenience. What is your house without water and electricity? A storage unit, a death trap. We so comfortable in our convenience. This is welfare. This is a stepping stone toward our independence. We're supposed to be using this opportunity that we have, all this money that we have, to build our independence. Niggas is way too comfortable smoking weed and chilling, making jokes, laughing and joking, like martial law not right, right around the corner like they're not preparing us for zombie land the first thing when you have a weather alert that people take off the shelf is what water you need to take that shit serious you need to know if you're gonna be here you need to know how insecure you should feel <laughs> because you're solely depending on a government that doesn't really give a fuck about you the government definitely don't give a fuck about black people and we sitting around here bullshitting dancing listening to music and shit and that's cool but if we're not really talking about taking our resources bringing them together because we don't have enough on our own, bringing them together and, and building something together one-minded. What the fuck are we using this internet for? What the fuck is we really doing? You know how fragile? You know what kind of position we're in? We're in a dangerous situation right now. Very dangerous. What is your house without water and electricity? A death trap, nothing, a storage unit. Look at this. You have nothing. You go to work, you make you make six figures right now. What will your money mean? It will mean nothing. What will all your houses and your cars mean when there's no more gas? It will mean nothing. And that's what you're doing. You're working for nothing. If you're not building your life over to over in another country and you got land and you doing your thing over there. Well, you're, you're dependent, you're independent of the system. With or without it, you're going to survive. Then what are you doing? Y'all sitting up in here in convenience, real convenient. Talking about you want a relationship. Mm. What? You want a relationship? For what? I'm not interested in none of y'all bras. Unless y'all are going to help me get toward my goal. I know that I'm assigned. I know that I'm assigned a certain amount of females that's supposed to help me and rebuild with me. So they minds because they hear my voice and we doing our thing, but I'm not comfortable in this situation we in, man. This shit ain't no joke. I'm fucking laughing. Yo, you too serious. What you mean I'm too serious? You're not serious enough. You're not taking your life serious. You just talking about I'm gonna live good, I'm gonna do good, woo 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 woo. Nigga, what would you do if the economy fell today? you all acting like that's a far-fetched question. It's not. What would you do? You feel what I'm saying? What would you do, I? Huh? What, 
kind of predicament are we really in? Take a moment and look around, homie. What kind of predicament are we really in? Are you prepared to kill somebody over fucking food? Do you even got enough ammo? You love your children, but you keep them in this system. And when damn well this shit about to shut the fuck down, they doing everything they can to stop anarchy from happening. You just gonna sit here and watch it all happen? Trump is your president and you just gonna sit here? You're not you gonna you gonna ignore all the signs? You're not gonna use this network, you're not gonna use this internet to network. I'm uninterested in talking about bullshit really. When I I come on here, when I come on here, it, it, it's cause I'm doing something toward my goals and ambitions. Like my ambition is to be independent of this system, period. Who wanna help me? Who wanna be? Who with me? I see this shit for what it is, bro. Do you? I'm not trying to stay up in here and fuck with just any broads. If you're not trying to help with resources to get up out of here and really build, then your money means nothing. All that you're doing means nothing. You keep investing your money into this system. Buying their homes, buying land here. For what? This shit is a wrap. Shit is over. You know how much karma that the United States has coming to it? For what it's done to nature? This shit is a wrap. It's over. Can't you feel it? This shit is over. Look in your sky, bro. Look up. Do you see them spraying you, my nigga? Is the spray getting heavier? Is there more lines than usual? Wake up. You got a $500 fucking car note. For what? A car is a car to get you from point A to point B. Your motherfucking apartment is way too expensive. You, you trying to live your paradise here. No, nigga, you build paradise over here. You use this as a welfare or as a stepping stone to you building your independence. Everybody need to be independent. I'm about that. My mind is focused on that. That's a serious thing because I, I know what, it's kind of hard not to take what I'm doing serious when I know exactly what's happening. And we and we gonna go deeper now. I didn't want to go too deep today, y'all. I wanted to keep it light. I wanted to, you know, just talk to my woman out there and relax. But now I want to. I'm gonna take it a little deeper on a spiritual level. You ready? Press one if you want to go deeper. Press one if you want to go deeper. Do you really love your kids? That, that's real. Think about your children. A mother's supposed to protect her children, but look at the predicament you have your children in truly with this government. You depend on the government for your water, for your electricity, for your shelter. And you're making money and giving it right back to the government. We're about to go deep. You ready? All right. You go to sleep, you wake up, you go to sleep, you wake up. You never ask yourself, what is reality? What is this? What, what were you sent here for? What are you doing here? What is this? What is reality? What the fuck is this? You just started to do it. You don't ask questions, you just living, you just going along with it. Which all you ever knew. Think back to your first memory. It's all you ever knew. And you don't ask no questions about how you got here. If I ask you how you got here, you'll say I got here through my mother, like a dumbass. And I say, where was you before then? I wasn't, I wasn't born or some shit, dummy. How did you get here? Who the fuck are you and what the fuck is this? 
You just living without asking no questions. But today I'm going to tell you what's going to happen when you die. This is a realm, a, ment a, a mental realm of existence. That's what you're at. You're in a plane of existence. You're in a mental realm. Your mind gives you, the, gives you the illusion that you have a body. You are shapeless, formless. You are a mind, a soul, a.k.a. a soul. And this soul has no shape, has no form, yet it gives you the indication that you have a body. It gives you the illusion that you have a body. And you feelize this body through the five senses of your mind. The mind gives you five senses. But it's not real. I'll make it clear to you. Every night you go to sleep, you go into darkness. When you go into that darkness, voila, you have another body and you're walking around and you're doing something in your dream, what we call dreams. Now, how the hell did you get another body? How are you experiencing that? What is the light in that realm? What lights up your dreams? Your mind. Your mind lights up your dreams. Your mind gives you another body. Your mind, your, your mind gives you another reality. Then you wake up from that dream. You go back into the darkness, and then you wake up back into this one. Now the question is, how the hell did you have another body in another place? You know that you were sleeping and your body was on a bed. But how the hell did you have another body in another place? How did you get that body? How did you get to that dream? How did you get there? How did you get here? It's a good question. It's deep. The mind uses thought to create reality. This is very deep for you to understand because I'm about to go deep. Listen very closely. You don't have a body. Your body is an avatar for your mind. Your mind, it doesn't have a shape. It is a quantum particle. Why do I say this? I'm going to bring it to a point. When you die, you're going back to the essence of what we are, which is the sun. You will see darkness, and then you will see a tunnel of light. That tunnel of light is what is called the sun. You will go back to the sun from which you came. Your, the source of all that you are is the sun, and that sun will pull you. Actually, it's the moon. The moon sends you to the sun. Actually, the moon will pull your soul and then send you to the sun. Now, when you get to the sun, depending on your belief system, whether you believe in Allah, Muhammad, Buddha, Jesus, whatever your subconscious has in it, it will conjure your characters. There will be loved ones there, people telling you to come, come on to the light, come on. As you come and see your loved ones and anything that you had in your subconscious that deemed that was nice is to get you to just come on. It's all you. Then you go into the light, which you call God, which is the almighty oneness. That light that you go to, when you go to that light, you're going to feel unconditional love. You're going to feel that you are one with everything and everything is you. Right? And in that moment, you will be judged for everything you did here on this plane of existence. You will see a flash of your life. In this realm, it won't take long. You will flash all of your existence and all of your life and everything you did. 
and you will see everything you did wrong and you will feel guilty. You will feel bad. And you're going to say, if you did not live a good life, you're going to feel guilty. In front of the presence of the almighty oneness, you will feel sorrow and you will feel guilt. And you will say to yourself, I am not worthy to be where you are. This is what you will say to the all. And the all will say, oh, come on. We forgive you. I love you. Come on. No one's going to judge you. Only you're going to judge you. The love cannot judge you. Love is non-judgmental. It's unconditional. It's not the love that's going to judge you. It's you that's not going to be able to accept crossing over into life. Because you did not do it here. You take your life as a grain of salt. You play, you joke like it's nothing. But I want to tell you something because I've been to hell. And thought regulates existence. So this earth plane that you keep waking up to, if we can put it into one word to represent what this is, is opportunity and chance. This is a place of opportunity. It's bleeding with opportunity. Chance after chance. That's what this, if you can make that word a place, you, it would be this. If you could take the word chance and opportunity and make it a place, it would be this. This is the body. We should call earth chance. Opportunity. We shouldn't call it earth. We should call it opportunity. This plane of existence is called opportunity chance. What plane of existence are we in? Chance? Opportunity? Because these words are the frequency of vibration to this being, this place. This is what you feel when you're here. And I can only tell you that because I've experienced other realms of existence where different words can explain different realities or planes of existence. I've been to hell and guess what the words that describe the everyday life in hell guilt sorrow here you breathe in you breathe out opportunity a chance that we take for granted every fucking day Babylon is set up to make you lose your opportunity and chance for you to level your soul up So, when you get to that light, and you see your life, and you see your performance, and you say, damn, that was terrible. Oh my God, I cannot join. I'm not worthy. The, the, the omnipotent love and light will just, it will say, you are welcome. Come. And you will say, no, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. I'm just not worthy. I'm not good enough. I'm not clean enough. I haven't done. I have to go back and do more. I have to do more. I, 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 I fucked up. I, I should have loved more. I should have. I should have paid attention. I should have. I knew. I was. I didn't listen. Oh my god! In that state, that state is called fear. That state is called worry. That state is called guilt. And that state is called sorrow. That is an actual place. And you have an avatar there. And in that avatar, you're tortured. That is hell, fire. With his gnashing of teeth, people crying in regret and sorrow. I've been there. I've seen it, felt it, the screams. The screams were so crazy that you can, the screams, the sounds. See, sound creates everything. We're actually vibrating to the opportunity here. This is the opportunity realm. This is the way you have to get a chance. In those realms, the only word that can express the atmosphere is sorrow, guilt, and fear. So 
So if your heart is not as light as a feather, you will end up there. And you will perish for what feels like an eternity. A lifetime. Just like here, you live like 65 years. Just imagine, or 80 years. Just imagine a whole life living just like you're living now, but torture every day. There is no opportunity. There's just torture. There's beings that take shape and form just like here. But it's hell. There's no opportunity. It's just torture. There's beings that get off that that are that are fragments of your subconscious that torture you from situations that you outlive and you have to to get out of this realm you have to literally be tortured for a certain amount of time and after you're tortured for a certain amount of time you pay your debt off and then you're released back to this realm where you reincarnate and you get the same lessons but in this realm they're not you're not completely tortured in this realm. You're kind of given an opportunity. In this realm, you can get out of your circumstances. You can you can do better in this realm. And over there, it's just like going to jail. You're spending a sentence. And after, for whatever you've done, you have a sentence in time for it. And you stay there for how many years? Six years, ten years of torture. And you, you get tortured. And then as your time is up, you level up and you're born into this realm again and it's like you have to reach the higher levels of existence there is a heaven there is a heaven there is a place of love this is not it but there is a place that expresses what it feels like. Not opportunity, not sorrow and guilt, but pure love. And it's a place where you have a body, just like here. But it's love. There's understanding, there's perfection, it's beauty. I've seen this place as well. That's where I live. That's where I'm going back to. That's where I'm from. And people from there come here to help. People from guilt and sorrow get to there. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. So this is very serious. Very serious. It's not a game. Everything you're doing is being recorded for you to you. Make sure you're not going to feel guilty or sorrow for anything that you did. Truly make sure, please. And I hope that you take that and you just chew on it. And I'm going to put that on, um, on, um, on YouTube. But before I put it on YouTube, I want to show you how to get in tune with love. You have to do that here before you can match that frequency enough to get to that over there. When you, after you die, you have to match the frequency here. That's what the green is all about. Nature's green. You ever notice how nature's all green? Why it ain't orange? Why it ain't yellow? It ain't yellow. Everything ain't yellow. Everything's green. Green represents love, balance, neutral. You must get in tune with nature. In harmony with the sun itself. Get in tune with the green and the brown. You brown. You God's children. You are love. We're all different shades of brown. But you're here to learn how to love. So that you can make it to love. There's a planet called love. It's called heaven. There's a planet called love. It's an atmosphere called love. This is opportunity. This is not earth. This is opportunity. 
there's a plane of existence called love. And you have to vibrate here. You have to create heaven on earth here for you to get it there. And if you don't, then you want to be sorry. And you're going to be guilty. And if you match that frequency, you don't want to go there. I'm just warning you. I love you. I love myself. You don't have to believe me, man. I'm just telling you. There's a planet called love. There's a plane of existence called love. And there's one called guilt and sorrow. You don't want to go to those. So make sure that you're not guilty and sorry for anything you've done here. Repent for all your sins and live a righteous life. Do the right thing and make sure you look up as much knowledge that's going to help you do the right thing. And I'm telling you, if you really have a heart to do the right thing, you will find the truth. You will find, but it ain't going to be easy. There's going to be sacrifices. Sacrifice. Well, you'll make it if you're chosen. With that being said, I'm going to end this video. We're going to call back in for the Q&A. We're going to build. That's why you need to take life serious. It's not a game. That's on a deeper level. On the game level that we're playing here, you have to create heaven on, on earth. And you're, you're in a state of... Um, Babylon puts you in your lower self to, to make you... And to stay on that frequency of guilt and sorrow. So we have to elevate ourselves here. We have to create ourselves. We have to get out of the system and create ourselves in tune with nature, living in harmony with nature. We must do this. And I'm networking with people right now to do so. So after that, then you will have heaven and you will vibrate. I've been there. I felt it. I've seen it. Trust me. It's a beautiful thing. Green hearts. For love, green hearts for love. Love is green. Love is really black. True love is black, but balance is green. You must get in tune with the green. So I'm gonna put this on um, YouTube, this clip right here. You know what I'm saying? I love myself. Peace of the gods. I'll see y'all in the next live. Damn, I don't even know what I be saying sometimes. Like, I, that shit just kind of said that this place is love and. There's a, there's a place called love and stuff like that. Uh, I'm crazy. That was amazing. I'm gonna shock myself. Yeah. Oh, that looked really good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It comes out so effortlessly, too. Yeah, that's a fact. Yeah, um, let's do it tonight. Just to do something, because she needs to get out. We need to take her for a walk. <laughs> Uh, I, I do. Come on, let's get it. Um, yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. so the universe really love me. I'm sitting here with a sore neck and I'm on Pinterest. <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 Oh man, bro, we talked uh, um we talked a, a, a while ago. First of all, thank you. Um, but we uh uh babe, I <laughs> my wife in there. Oh, all right, cool. All right, let me get focused. We talked a while ago, um, this is before I actually bought my house. Um, me and you actually, we spent like two hours on the phone. And that's why I was like, yo, man, people are actually, uh, this is when like I first actually got an Instagram. I was only watching your videos on, um, YouTube. on YouTube. I chose not to have social media because I didn't feel like it was conducive for me. But after I got it, and, I, and Alicia was like, my wife was like, you know, you could like follow some of these people that you watching on YouTube on like their daily. I said, what? She was like, yeah, look, I'm like a dinosaur. I, and I talked to you about that at the time. He was like, bro, like, yeah, we got to get in tune. I had got your cat, like the, um, the, uh, what's the WhatsApp and all of that. And you sent me my first chart. You gave it to me. I still got it. 
still got it. <laughs> I still got it. Um, um, but all that aside, from that time, we was in an apartment. We're homeowners now. Our daughter was two. And she was on three. She's five now. Yeah. When you were talking, that was probably... I listened to you, and I told you this before when we mm-hmm. spoke. I remember that conversation. Mm-hmm. I felt like I hear myself talking and I could shut up for once. <laughs> okay. Okay. I, you say the stuff that I normally say, and there's a couple other brothers and sisters online that I follow as well, and I could just sit back and just be like, just go, because I can hear it. I feel like, you know what I mean, that... We just had one of those moments, huh? Yo! Uh, and I, I was like, I'm like, you saying it already for me. I don't have to say it. Right. Hey, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I'm like, all right, boom, bet. Um, hey, babe, I got my wife uh, right here. Peace, darling. Um, you know that so? <laughs> <laughs> but um, it's like, all right, boom. Here's the question. Let me get on the track. Now, as a homeowner, I'm sitting up here and I'm saying, okay, boom, it's going to crash. It's going to fall. I heard what you said. Nature is going to kill it. If everybody was to leave a system, all right, think about this. Cancer. Cancer actually, it actually, it, it needs the host, but it actually kills it. So it's actually, cancer is actually pretty stupid. It sucks everything from something. Like, think about how retarded cancer is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or, or, or any leech. Any leech, mm-hmm. you're sucking from the host, and you're going to end up killing something that's sustaining your life, dummy. Right. If 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 we're feeding it as a battery, which we all are, mm-hmm. what's going to happen if nature was to kill it? Like, what if everybody was to take that mentality? Which we all not the the path is narrow, but what if everybody, more people, out of nowhere, were to just jump on it? Like you everybody just answered the question, on. like. Somebody asked a very important question, and then I want you to look at this. What do you feel about that question? What was that? Do you really own your home? Oh, shit. No, no, you really don't. You don't own anything, to be totally honest. No, wow, that's crazy. It just came out. No, you don't own anything. You don't even own your body because that goes back in the dirt. I'm not dumb. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not asleep. People, it's a thousand people on this thing that's going to watch it. I'm not, it's not that type of party. Hey, no, you don't own anything. You don't own anything. So I said homeowner. All right, you got me. No, not a homeowner. But, like, come on. Like, you know what I'm saying? But, no, you don't own the water. You need everybody's water. You need your electricity. You need things. And somebody also... You answered your question. You answered your question. The path is narrow. It's only elect. It's only elect. There's only elite that needs to hear the message, that will hear the message. Right. See what I'm saying? Right. So my whole thing is, what do people do? For the masses, for the people that do temporarily, somebody in the comments also was like, oh, he was like, when you ask, all right, what is your home? What is that? Uh, if, there's no, if there's no water and if there's no electricity, somebody very simply put, it's shelter. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, it's shelter. But then you could also be dating. No, 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 well, what, what, is, what is your home without water and electricity? And that person in that country, you scroll back on your last thing, somebody like very specific, very simply put it, this is a shelter. I draw, I'm a bus driver and I'm also a chef. People can see that I cook, but I'm more, I'm a full-time bus driver and I drive in the city of Camden and I see people. Damn. Damn. Yeah, that's where my route is. Yeah, yeah. We talk, we talk uh, uh, about from the South Jersey area. Yeah, that's when we were talking. Um, bro. People are outside of some of the most coldest days over here. Outside and like underneath like 15, 20 blankets. I, my shit starts at 4 o'clock in the morning. Have you ever felt your house without heat? Hell yeah. Okay, then there's not no shelter. <laughs> <That's> stupid. <laughs> you might want to be out there with them. <laughs> Yo, well, all right, all right. Well, okay. 
right. Hey, listen, I just wanted to just say that, like, as far as, because I don't want people to feel beat up because we still got to live here. Not everybody can go out. If that was the case, if there was no, we out, still we it. still got to live here, but it's just like the door is open, dog. It's open. It's opportunity. Take it. Like, you went and bought a house here. If I was you, I would have saved my money and put and invested in land in Hawaii or some shit. You know what I mean? Or, or, or network with people. Right now, you need to take your money. So now your money's getting sucked into this house instead of being sucked into your independence. You are not, yes, you are not independent. Your, your money's being sucked into the wrong direction. So you put your energy into the wrong direction when you could have been put into your independence. If we do less here and do more over there for our dreams, it'd be better. But now that's you're a, stuck in a mortgage. That's a battle that it's one of the situations that I think that if people are conscious that are in situations like this, if you can figure out how to use the system to pay for itself and yeah. you already are in it. Yeah. Use this situation to not beat people up that are already, because guess what? The man that already has this, the woman that already has this, this is not to beat you up. Try to figure out something that you can do to fuel what you've already put yourself into. Your car note, your, your student loans, mm -hmm. your, your anything. Figure out some manifest something that you could do to get yourself up out of it and also make it work for you. I, my next home situation is not going to be in this country. That's, That's not going to be here. Okay. So if you could take that house and mortgage or, or, or finance it, you know what I'm saying, or or rent it, then it makes then it makes sense. I'm going to flip stuff, and this is this is this is the situation. But this is now for every. I'm, I, it's going to have to work. So if this, I'm always going to eventually have not say own, but have this house. But in right. the future. I'm going to the tropics. You can you can take that house. I don't know where it's at, and I don't know if you heard about B and B. You ever heard about B and B? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Could, basically, you can Airbnb that joint. Don't let me go. Right, right, and flip it, and and don't have to necessarily be here. Use it for somebody else who wants to vacate or do whatever. You got a house. You got a crib. You can Airbnb that joint, <laughs> and be the fuck out of here. Residual income. <laughs> you feel me? Yo. Let's get it. Let's get it. Airbnb. Bro, yo, I told you I didn't want to take up too much of your time. Put somebody else in. Uh, uh, bro, uh, I'm going to tap in. Put somebody else on that one link. I got you. All right, I got you. Peace, girl. All right, bro. Why y'all kick him out? That's fucked up. He was building. <laughs> they told him bye. <laughs> it's like, and he got out because they told him bye. That's crazy. What? Uh. He said he ain't ready because he ain't. You he said he's not ready because he's there? You look good, though. I'm thankful, baby. So, My dream. Huh? What you say? We about to go out to the street. If one of y'all run up on me while I'm out here, I'm going to punch you in your shit. Don't play with me. I'm about to go out. And if you come up on me, I'm going to. Huh? Yeah, we ready with it. I'm ready. I got my gun on me. I got my motherfucking gun. I got my gun on me. You know what I'm saying? Like, come up with me, nigga. I got my gun, nigga. Like, what's up? What's up? Uh-uh. Oh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> Huh? Do that again. Yeah, I got my gun. <laughs> nah, what's going on? I got my gun on me right now. Ready. Gotta prepare my mind. I'm going out to the public. We out here in LA. <laughs> Man, we don't want no problems, you know what I'm saying? That's that online shit, run up on me if you want, I got a gun. <laughs> got a gun right here, I'm not afraid to use it. He said I got a nice Airbnb. <laughs> I 
I'm in the Airbnb, they said. That's all right. Mm-hmm. He said, move back a little bit. Because <laughs> it's not ready. You said, like, it's not ready. <laughs> Alright, y'all. Yeah, I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna build when I get back, man. We gotta um go do some things real quick. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be back, all right? I love myself. You ready? Yo. Y'all gonna clean up before we go? Yeah. Cause y'all got looking kinda <laughs> Sunday evening ish. What's up? So who is that, Elisa? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's Elisa. <laughs> you said, who is that? <laughs> said, well, hey. Oh, you can have an ass now? Okay. Got you. Wow. I'm probably I'm a bad influence. Right. She grabbed my ass now? Oh, is that the grounding thing right there? I want to make sure. All right, so look, we out here, it's cold, and we about to pull out, I'm going to be like this, and while I'm in public, nobody can see me, I'm going to be like this, let's see her face, fuck no, you crazy, you crazy, nigga, I can't see her. I can't see her face. I showed you um the rest, but you can't see her. All my wives is not to be seen. You feel what I'm saying? Like you can't see all. You can't see everybody. One day you'll be able to see her, but when we when we off in the house, well, then you might not be able to see her then because we're gonna be off in the damn. Yeah. You know. We'll be off in the gym. All right, y'all ready? I got my gun, so we I'm gonna protect y'all. Always black and They gonna see the artwork. That's Zoka artwork right there. See that? Yeah, it is. Elisa, Elisa, we want to see you. Don't do that. Hey, I'm, not. I'm not here for a shit. Can't, you can't see her right now. I'm not here for attention. She said she not say it again. Tell me. I'm here for the mission. She's here for the mission. Don't worry. Don't worry about that. Boop, boop. Y'all ready? Yeah. I love myself. Peace to the gods.